Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as we go through the construction and test flights of the Futaba Skyleaf ST RC model airplane. Let's get to it. This is the Skyleaf ST model airplane from the folks at Futaba. They, they supplied me with this kit for uh, my review and comment. In this video, I'll take you how to build this kit. It's a very simple build and then some test flights. Uh, just an overview, it's about a 31 inch wingspan or so, weighs about nine ounces and just a fun acrobatic trainer aircraft, four channels with ailerons, elevator, rudder, and throttle through the ESC. So let's take a look at the kit unboxing. We'll go through a quick build of the aircraft then discuss the test flights. I'd also like to uh, add that for first time builders, this is a great kit to consider starting with. There is an uh, incredibly complete color illustrated um, construction manual that you can download from the FutabaUSA.com website. It takes you step by step how to build the aircraft. There's really no tricks on it. The only two things that I did different from the instruction manual was I had a easier way to hook up the uh, control services with the overlap method and heat shrink tubing. I'll show that in, in the build phase. And the instructions didn't list the center gravity location, super important. Center gravity is right where the wing spar is here. That'll balance out well. That's important. All planes must balance. I had to add a little bit of nose weight to my model to have it balance out. So I've taken everything out of the box. It's just a very basic model. A nice fuselage with a paint scheme on here, uh, the wings. These are the wheel pants, tail surfaces. Again, no surprises on the construction. I think it'll go together pretty well. There is some uh, carbon rods here, uh, kind of unusual piece of wood. Will there be a spar for the wing here? And they even included some landing gear, this carbon fiber, carbon fiber landing gear post. So we'll get going on that construction and we'll take you step by step through that and then the test flights. One nice feature about the kit is all the control surfaces are hinged, very nice hinges so you can see the aileron, the elevator before. There's tabbed marks to put the wings in. They're, they're different size tabs, so you don't get them mixed up. The illustrated photo manual helps a lot. You actually build the airplane upside down. Here's an example of a bad fit and then a good fit for the tab, so uh, you really can't go wrong with that. I use 500 epoxy for these joints. I want them to be nice and strong, and you can see how the wing goes into the fuselage, again, working upside down per the instruction manual. Here the wing is glued on. You can see the size of the ailerons, and they're just flat. There's no dihedral. This is the wood um, wing brace. There's a pre-cut slot in the wing and fuselage. This is it glued in with 500 epoxy. And here there's the top of the fuselage. You can see the spar goes all the way through. Time now for the tail surfaces. The tail again is keyed with that little notch there that fits in. And again, five minute epoxy. Here is the uh, initial servos going in. They glue right in place. This is the aileron servo. The instructions are very helpful where to put all that. The bottom half of the fuselage is glued in place. You see cutouts for the servo arms. One change I made was overlapping music wire with heat shrink tubing. It makes a little bit easier installation. Here it is for the elevator. See the connection to the elevator and the elevator being tested. Here's a completed model ready for the installation of the motor and landing gear. Uh, this is the nose of the aircraft. I bought the um, recommended power pack and there is the mount, just a very simple cross mount. The landing gear has its instructions and just um, holdings for the wheel pans and it goes through a slot in the landing gear. You glue everything in place. So here is the completed um, Skyleaf. There are really no surprises in the construction. It goes through very logically uh, with the fuselage, the um, wings. It just, it just goes together well. The servos are, are embedded into the fuselage. They show you step by step how to do that in the um, build instructions. I used about half an inch uh, control throw for the test flights. You could add a lot more control throw if you want more uh, vigorous uh, 3D acrobatic flight. That was just a starting point for me, but very easy to add to that later on. So again, no surprises on the build. Went together. You can build it in less than two days. And I think we're ready now to go to the field for a test flight. So now I'll do the controls check for the elevator. 
rod, uh, excuse me, rudder, ailerons, and they're in the right direction, and we'll just touch the throttle. All right. This is the first takeoff, a little bit of a dip that was just out of trim, pulled it up, but the model was instantly completely predictable. It was just, it was an honest airplane. It go, went where you pointed it, very sure on the control. I'm flying this at about half throttle just to get some pictures for the video. Just a very pleasant aircraft to fly. These control throws, here's the first landing, and now it's down. Second takeoff went a little bit better with the trim put in place. And again, you could just, it's a comfortable airplane flying low altitudes in front of you. And I think as you practice, it could be a very nice aerobatic airplane. So you can see from the test flights, they went very well. The model um, just flew on the first flight. There was a little bit out of pitch trim, but that is totally normal for any new aircraft. Once it's all trimmed out, it flies, it, it just goes where you point it. So wherever you aim the model, that's where it flies. I think it'll be a very suitable uh, trainer type aircraft. It's just a sport aerobatic aircraft. As I mentioned, you can increase the control throws if you want a more uh, livelier model for um, your flying, uh, potentially add a um, three cell battery, more power, bigger motor, although this is entirely adequate for this airplane. The one change that I think I'll make is the wheel pants and wheels look nice, but the wheels are just a little bit too small for the runway that I fly off of. I think I'll put on bigger uh, wheels, may or may not keep the uh, wheel pants. But overall, very satisfied with the Futaba Skyleaf ST model. Uh, goes together quick. It's easy for a first time builder. There's a great illustrated uh, construction manual, and I encourage anybody who wants to try this to give it a try. It's, it's a great RC model airplane. Thank <laughs> you.